scam targeting and robbing victims all across the state. The grandparent scam, where the scammers call an elderly person pretending to be a grandchild in jail and in need of money to get out. News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs spoke to Hendersonville police who have two suspects in jail. They start speaking to the victim saying, this is your grandson. And you know, the victim's thinking, oh, my grandson, which one of my grandsons could this be? It's a scam and it's happening in Hendersonville. Sometimes, like in this case, we start investigating and sure enough, there is something we can do uh, because it, it points to our own backyard. Detective Sergeant Neil Harris says these two Florida men are the scammers. They call their victims, one pretending to be the grandson and the other, the lawyer. Then the person's like, well, yes, it's me. And then, hey, I'm in jail. I need you to talk to my attorney. Harris says the men convinced their victims not to tell anyone, withdraw thousands of dollars to help their grandson, and send the cash. I'm going to send a courier to your house, and he's going to pick that money up and, and get it to us so that we can get this taken care of and we can get your grandson out of trouble. Harris says the suspects used Uber to get the money, but drivers in these cases were not involved in the crimes. Our hope is that we can catch as many of these guys as possible. Police say it was their greed that got them caught when they begged for more money, but were surprised by police. Officers made one arrest on the spot. The other suspect got away, made it all the way back to Florida, but not for long. Our goal at this point is to really get the word out to the community. Harris says he has received calls from law enforcement agencies throughout Middle Tennessee that are saying that they have victims in their city who are victimized the exact same way. So be on guard. Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5. Police are again warning you to screen your calls. And if someone on the phone is asking for money and says you can't tell, call police. It is a scam.